My wedding is supposed to be the happiest day of my life, but my sister just turned it into a total nightmare. You won't believe how far she went to ruin everything. My wedding is coming up in a few months, and I decided not to invite my sister. This has caused a lot of drama in my family, with some members calling me petty and others saying I'm justified. Here's the thing, my sister and I have never had a great relationship. She has a habit of making everything about her, and over the years, she's caused a lot of hurt that I've just let slide for the sake of family peace. The final straw was about a year ago when I got engaged. Instead of being happy for me, she made several rude comments about my fiancé, calling him boring and not good enough for me. She even joked at a family dinner that he'd probably bail before the wedding. I brushed it off at the time, but it really stung, and my fiancé was visibly upset. Since then, I've distanced myself from her. When we started planning the wedding, I realized I didn't want that negativity on what's supposed to be one of the happiest days of my life. My parents are furious and say I'm tearing the family apart, but I feel like I'm just setting boundaries for my own happiness. Now, some family members are saying I'm being immature and should be the bigger person by inviting her, while others say they understand why I'm not. I'm second-guessing myself because I don't want to ruin family relationships, but I also feel like my wedding day should be a positive and supportive environment. So, A-I-T-A -A for not inviting her? Update 1 So, my parents decided to go full drama mode and call the family discussion to talk about my wedding, except it wasn't a discussion. It was more like a let's all gang up on OP session. I wasn't even told this was happening until the night before when my mom sent me a text saying, we all need to have a serious talk about your sister and the wedding, be at our house tomorrow night. No explanation, just that. I didn't even want to go, but my fiancé said we should at least hear them out because maybe this could clear the air. Spoiler, it didn't. When we got there, it wasn't just my parents and sister. A bunch of extended family members were there too, my aunt, uncle, cousins, and even my grandparents. It was so weird, like some intervention for me not inviting my sister. Right away, my sister acted like she was the victim. She started crying, fake crying, I swear, and saying she didn't understand why I hated her so much and how it asked killing her that she won't be at my wedding. She kept saying stuff like, we're sisters, we're supposed to stick together, and I've always supported you, even when I didn't agree with your choices. Total garbage. When I tried to bring up all the stuff she's done, like calling my fiancé boring, saying he wasn't good enough, and making that he'll probably bail joke, she just rolled her eyes and said, oh my god, I was kidding. You're so sensitive. She even turned to my fiancé and said, you're not actually mad about that, are you? It was just a joke. He didn't say anything because he's way more polite than me, but you could tell he was uncomfortable. Then my mom jumped in, saying I was being unreasonable and tearing the family apart over something so small. She said, this is your wedding, but it is also a family event. You're making it all about you. That really pissed me off because, um, yeah, it s my wedding. Of course it s about me and my fiancé. I told them that I've put up with my sister's behavior for years, and I'm done letting her ruin important moments in my life. I said, if she's at the wedding, it won't be a happy day for me, and I don't want to spend my wedding day stressed out or walking on eggshells because of her. My dad tried to play the peacemaker and was like, come on, she's your sister. Family is forever. But I'm sorry, just because we're related doesn't mean I owe her an invitation. Then my grandparents chimed in, saying they won't come to the wedding if my sister isn't invited because they won't support a family being divided. My aunt and uncle said the same thing. So now it has turned into this massive thing where if I don't invite her, a bunch of people might not come. My fiancé finally spoke up and said, this is getting out of hand. This is our wedding, not a family reunion. If you can't support our decision, that's your choice, but we're not changing our minds. 
I was so proud of him for standing up for us, but it also made the room explode. My mom started crying, my sister started yelling, and my grandparents stormed out, saying they were disappointed in me. After we left, I got a ton of texts from family members telling me I'm being selfish, but a few cousins and my brother said they get where I'm coming from and support me. Now I'm just stuck because it feels like no matter what I do, someone is going to be mad. If I don't invite her, half my family might boycott the wedding. If I do invite her, I'll be miserable the whole day. At this point, I'm seriously considering just eloping and skipping the big wedding altogether. My fiancé and I could take the money we're spending on the circus and have an amazing trip instead. But then I feel guilty because I know some people, like my friends and a few family members, really want to celebrate with us. I don't know. I'm just so over all of this. It asks like my sister has already ruined the wedding without even being there. Why is it so hard for people to just respect a boundary? A I T A for sticking to my decision? Update 2. So, things got even messier, which I didn't think was possible. After the family discussion fiasco, I thought maybe people would cool off and let it go, but nope. My mom called me the next day and said, we need to fix this, or the whole family will fall apart. I told her that the only way to fix it was for everyone to respect my decision. She didn't like that answer. She said I was being stubborn and that family should come first. I told her, Mom, family doesn't mean letting people treat you like garbage. She hung up on me. Then my sister decided to take it to Facebook. She made this super passive-aggressive post about how some people care more about their ego than their family and how she's heartbroken that she's being excluded from her own sister's wedding. She didn't name me but it was obvious who she was talking about. A bunch of her friends and even some of our family started commenting things like, you deserve better, and wow, some people are so selfish. It was such a petty move, but I wasn't about to engage. Then came the phone calls. My mom, my aunt, even a cousin I haven't spoken to in years, all calling to tell me I need to apologize and invite my sister. One of my cousins even said, you're going to regret this when you're older. You're going to look back and wish you had your sister there. I'm like, really? Will I regret not having a toxic person at my wedding? I don't think so. Here's where it gets wild, though. My sister showed up at my fiancé's work. I have no idea how she thought this was a good idea, but she went there to talk to him about the wedding. She walked into his office, uninvited, and told him that he needed to convince me to invite her. She even told him that he was the reason I was acting this way and accused him of turning me against my family. He called me right after and was like, your sister just showed up at my job. This is getting out of hand. I was so furious I could barely think straight. I called her immediately and told her that if she ever tried something like that again, I'd file a restraining order. She tried to play dumb, saying, I was just trying to fix things. Why are you so mad? I hung up on her. After that, my fiancé and I had a long talk. He's been so supportive through all of this, but he admitted he's starting to feel uncomfortable around my family. He's worried that if we don't invite my sister, my parents and extended family will treat him like the villain forever. He doesn't want to be the reason I lose half my family. I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, I feel like giving in would set a bad precedent. If I cave now, what's next? Do I have to let her ruin every holiday, every milestone, just to keep the peace? I don't want to start our marriage by compromising on something that's so important to me. My mom called again yesterday and said that my grandparents have decided they won't attend the wedding unless my sister is invited. She said, do you really want your grandparents to miss your wedding over this? They're old, OP. This could be the last family event they're able to come to. That hit me hard. 
I love my grandparents, and the idea of them not being there is heartbreaking. But I also feel like they're being manipulated by my mom and sister. I told my mom that if they don't want to come, that's their choice, but I'm not changing my mind. She said, fine, but don't come crying to me when you realize you've destroyed this family. That's literally what she said, like I'm the one tearing everyone apart. Now my fiancé and I are seriously considering going the elopement route. We've been looking at destinations, and honestly, the idea of just running off and getting married somewhere beautiful, with no drama, sounds amazing. We could invite a few close friends and my brother, who's been on my side through all of this, and just skip the whole family circus. But then, of course, I get another curveball. My brother called me last night and said, Hey, I think you should know something. Apparently, my sister has been telling people that she wasn't just joking when she said my fiancé might bail before the wedding. She's been spreading rumors that he's having second thoughts and that I'm forcing him into the marriage. When I heard that, I felt sick. I don't know if she's trying to ruin my relationship or if she's just so jealous and bitter that she can't stand to see me happy. Either way, it is disgusting, and it makes me even more sure that I don't want her anywhere near my wedding. Now I'm at a point where I feel like I have no good options. If I stick to my decision, half my family might not show up. If I give in and invite her, she'll probably spend the entire day making snide comments and trying to make it about her. And if we elope, I'll have to deal with the fallout from that too. I'm exhausted. I just want to marry the person I love without all this drama. Why is that too much to ask? Update 3. We decided to elope. Yep, after all the drama, all the family guilt trips, and all the ridiculous stunts my sister pulled, my fiancé and I realized the big wedding just wasn't worth it anymore. The tipping point? My mom and sister planned a surprise family dinner at a restaurant and invited us, claiming it was just to smooth things over. Spoiler, it was not. When we got there, it was super awkward from the start. My sister was acting way too nice, like over-the-top fake nice, and I could tell something was up. Sure enough, halfway through the meal, my mom starts this long speech about forgiveness and moving forward as a family. Then she turns to me and says, OP, we've all talked, and we think it's time to let bygones be bygones. Your sister has something to say. My sister stands up like she's about to accept an Oscar and goes, I just want to apologize if I've ever hurt you. I was only trying to protect you because I didn't think your fiancé was the right person for you, but now I see how wrong I was. I love you, and I want to be there for your big day. It was so rehearsed and insincere, I almost laughed. But then she dropped the bomb. She added, I also talked to, fiancé's, mom, and she agrees that family should come first, so she's on my side. Hold up. She what? Turns out, my sister somehow got my fiancé's mom's number and called her. She told her all about the wedding drama, spun it to make herself look like the victim, and tried to get her to pressure us into inviting her. My fiancé's mom didn't even tell us because she didn't want to add more stress. But now my sister was bragging about it like it was some genius move. I lost it. I stood up and said, this is exactly why you're not invited. You cross every boundary, make everything about you, and then play the victim when people call you out. You're not sorry, you're just mad you're not getting your way. My mom started crying, my dad told me to calm down, and my sister had the audacity to say, you're being so dramatic. It s just a wedding. That's when I knew I was done. My fiancé and I walked out, and I told my parents that if they couldn't respect my boundaries, they wouldn't be hearing from me for a long time. That night, my fiancé and I sat down and made the decision to elope. We booked tickets to a beautiful little spot we've always wanted to visit, just the two of us. We didn't even tell anyone except my brother, who was thrilled for us and helped us plan a small ceremony with a local officiant. The wedding was perfect. 
No drama, no stress, just the two of us promising to love each other forever. We took tons of photos, had an amazing dinner, and spent the rest of the week exploring and relaxing. It was everything we wanted and more. When we got back, we sent out an announcement to everyone letting them know we were officially married and that we'd be hosting a casual celebration for friends and family in a few months. Predictably, my parents were furious. My mom called me sobbing, saying she couldn't believe I'd excluded the family like that. My dad said he was deeply disappointed and that he'd never expected me to disrespect them like this. And my sister? She sent me a nasty message saying, Wow, I hope it was worth ruining the family over your little runaway wedding. Don't expect me to ever forgive you. Honestly, I'm relieved. If she wants to cut me off, fine. Less drama for me. On the flip side, a lot of people have been super supportive. My brother was over the moon when he saw the pictures, and my cousins, who'd secretly sided with me the whole time, said they were proud of me for standing my ground. Even my fiancé's mom, who got dragged into this mess, said we made the right choice and that she was happy for us. Looking back, I have no regrets. Our wedding was about us, not about appeasing a bunch of people who couldn't respect our boundaries. I've learned that sometimes, you have to prioritize your own happiness, even if it means upsetting others. For anyone wondering, my fiancé and I are doing great. We're starting our married life without the weight of family drama dragging us down, and honestly, it feels amazing. As for my family, I'm keeping my distance for now. If they want to be part of my life, they'll have to show they can respect me and my decisions. Until then, I'm focusing on my marriage and the people who truly support us. Thanks for all the advice and support, seriously, it helped so much to know I wasn't crazy for setting boundaries. If you're dealing with toxic family dynamics, take it from me, it's okay to choose peace over tradition.